Hey guys, now a few weeks ago, um, I was in San Francisco and I picked up the Ray-Ban Meta glasses. And I was really curious about how well these glasses work. You know, these are the brand new smart glasses that are on the market that have AI, can actually stream, can take pictures, take videos. And I was curious on how well they would do for calls. Could they pass the EBP man test? Well, today's video, we're gonna check it out. Let's get right to it. Now the Ray-Ban Meta glasses have some really cool features as I had mentioned. First of all, these look like standard glasses and we're gonna see them in a couple seconds, right? Basically, they have a camera that's capable of taking great pictures. Uh, also, it's gonna be able to take videos as you can see here and they also have speakers so that you can listen to music. Now keep in mind that depending on how loud you have the music, these are going to bleed out. So other people are gonna be able to hear what you hear if you're bl blasting them out at the highest volume. That's unavoidable. But at a personal level, I've been able to enjoy music, listen to audiobooks, and people around me haven't been able to tell that I've been listening to something at the right volume. They also have uh, two, uh, what is it? Four, actually, they also have five mics. It has five mic array, and I was like, wow, five mics, that's a lot. How well are they gonna be able to do for calls? We're gonna see that. 32 gigs of memory that's gonna allow you to take 500 plus photos, 50 plus 60 second videos, Wi-Fi 2.4, um, and also five gigahertz, and then Bluetooth 5.3. And it has rapid charging, 75% in 30 minutes. So let's take a look at these glasses for a second. So we're just gonna open it up and you'll notice that as soon as you open them up right here, you're gonna get this LED that lights up indicating the power level of the of the case and glasses. And you notice that that green basically indicates that they're fully charged. And when you see these, they actually do look like Ray-Ban glasses. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. And one of the things that I picked up, and you could actually get a prescription with these, I actually picked up the version that has the uh, transition lenses. And the pet, I don't know yet, but I may get the, the, the actual, what I would say, uh, lenses themselves. But one of the things that they advise is that you take them back to the store if you wanna do that. They actually advise that you order them with the lenses if that's what your choice is gonna be. I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. Uh, so a couple things that you'll notice here is that the glasses are clear because they're transition. Uh, they actually have two cameras here on each side and they'll indicate if you're recording for privacy purposes that that's taking place. Now on the back here, I'll go ahead and open them up. You can see that it has the Ray-Ban logo and it's also already connected. You saw this little light flash right here. So it's connected to my phone. Uh, you do have a power switch here on the side. So if you want to turn that off, you can. And then basically you have the ability to swipe and, and tap to uh, get certain gestures. But the whole point here is that you also have access to uh, Facebook's or Meta's actually, Meta's AI. And let me show you what these look like. And you notice on the bridge, they have these little sensors as well. So I'm going to take these off to give you a sense of what they look like. So as soon as I put it on, I hear like a little boom, boom sound greeting me on. And for the most part, these look like glasses, right? The only difference is that these are clear, so they may look a little bit weird because they have the thick lenses. But if these actually had transitioned completely to a dark color, they would look like standard uh, glasses. I'm going to look this way so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to look this way and you can see what it looks like. And one of the things that I was really concerned about when I got these at first was as a glass wearer, how does the bridge uh, feel when it comes to the pressure on your nose? Because it's not a raised bridge. You know how your glasses have those little feet? It doesn't have them. But I've actually worn these for at least seven hours. And I haven't felt the pressure that you have in the bridge like you would with some traditional glasses. And that's, a good, that's good news for me. Now, the next thing I will say is that the audio is there. Bass, midi, mids, and highs is present but as best as they can be, given the fact that they're open, right? That you can get all this additional noise. You're not gonna get an immersive experience like you would having earbuds in your ear, let's face it, that's not gonna happen. But you can enjoy the music with these. You could also enjoy audiobooks. The other thing that you can do is you can take calls. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so next we're gonna do a call quality test in a quiet environment with the Ray-Ban Meta. Check this out. We have around 23 decibels in noise. Let's go ahead and switch. Now, this is what the Ray-Ban Meta will sound like in a quiet environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is our test. Let's go ahead and add some wind to the environment. Now, this is what the Ray-Ban Meta would sound like with wind in the environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is our test. Now, we're adding significant noise to the environment. As you can see here, our decibel readings are anywhere between 34 and 76 decibels in noise. What we're going to do is we're going to switch to the Meta and we're going to stay quiet, or the Ray-Ban Meta is stay quiet and see how much is being canceled. Let's go to switch.
Now, this is what the Ray-Ban meta will sound like in a noisy environment. This is a test, one, two, three, and this is our test. Now, if you're wondering what the Ray-Ban meta will sound like with an infant crying in the background, well, this is what they're gonna sound like with an infant crying in the background. Now, if you're wondering what they'll sound like with a dog barking in the background, this is what they sound like with a dog barking. Now, if you're wondering what they're gonna sound like with the doorbell ringing, this is what they'll sound like with the doorbell ringing. So guys, that wraps up our call quality test and review of the Ray-Ban meta. They did pretty well. See you in the next video.